Thank you, Chairman Doyle. My questions are of Mr. Zuckerberg and Mr. Pichai, but you know, I just want to say, after listening to the two of your testimony, you definitely give the impression that you don't think that you're actively in any way promoting this misinformation and extremism. And I totally disagree with that. You're not passive bystanders. You're not, you know, nonprofits or religious organizations that are trying to do a, a you know good job for humanity. You're making money. And the point we're trying to make today, or at least I am, is that when you spread this information, actual misinformation, extremism, act, actively promote it and amplify it, you do it because you make more money. And so I, you know, I kind of deny the basic premise of what you said. But let me get to the questions. Um, let me ask Mr. Zuckerberg, according to a May 2020 Wall Street Journal report, a Facebook researcher concluded that Facebook's own recommendation tools were tied to a significant rise in membership in extremist Facebook groups in Germany. I wrote to you last month requesting this research and related documents. I trust you'll fully cooperate with the committee's inquiry and provide all requested documents and information. But my question is, and please yes or no, were you aware of this research showing that 64% of the members in the extremist Facebook groups studied joined because the Facebook's own recommendations tool joined these extremist groups in uh, in Germany. Were you aware of that, yes or no? Uh, Congressman, this is something that we study because we want to make sure our products yeah, but improve. I'm just asking you were aware of it. It's a simple question, yes or no. Were you aware of it? That's all I'm asking. Were you aware oh, of this? Aware at, at what time? After after we studied yes, that? I just asked if you were aware of it, Mr. Zuckerberg, yes or no. If not, I'm going to assume that the answer is yes. Okay. Well, I've, seen, I've seen the study. It, it was about a, a right, content so leading up to the German yeah, election, I, and we we I since made that. Let changes me go to, to the, the second platform. question, which relates to that. You said yes. Okay. The troubling research I mentioned demonstrates that Facebook was not simply allowing disinformation and extremism to spread; it actively amplified it and spread it. This is my point. Nonetheless, Facebook didn't permanently stop recommending political and civil groups to the United States until after the January 6th insurrection, years after it was made aware of this research. The fact that Facebook's own recommendation system helped populate extremist groups compels us to reevaluate platforms' liabilities. Now, back to that Wall Street Journal article. Facebook's chief product officer, Chris Cox, championed an internal effort to address division on Facebook and proposed a plan that would have reduced the spread of content by hyperactive users on the far left and far right. The article alleges, Mr. Zuckerberg, that you personally reviewed this proposal and approved it, but only after its effectiveness was, was decreased to 80%. Is that true? Yes or no, please. Congressman, we've made we've made a lot of of, of measures that did that aim to fight this content, it? including. Did you sorry, approve no. it after its effectiveness was decreased to eighty percent? Yes or no? Congressman, I I can't speak to that specific example, but we've put in place a lot of different did measures, and in the aggregate, I think that they're effective, okay. including. You did. Did you review the proposal and approve it? Congressman, we do a lot of work in this area, and I review a lot of proposals, and we've moved forward on a lot of steps. It's not a difficult question. I'm just asking if you reviewed this internal proposal and you approved it, you and you won't even answer that. I, I don't. It's so easy to answer that question. It's very specific. All right, you won't answer, right? Yes or no? Congressman, that's not what I said. I, I said I did review that, you know, in addition to many other proposals and things that we've taken action on, okay, you, including you shutting off it. recommendations for civic and political you, groups. Did you approve it with the 80% decrease in effectiveness? Congressman, I, I don't remember that specifically, but okay. we've taken a number of different steps on, on, on this. Let me go to Mr. Pachai. Mr. Pachai, according to the New York Times, YouTube's recommendation algorithm is responsible for more than 70% 70 70 of the time users spend on YouTube. In fact, a former design ethicist at Google was quoted as saying, if I'm YouTube and I want you to watch more, I'm always going to steer you towards crazy town. Mr. Pachai, is, mis is YouTube's recommendation algorithm designed to encourage users to stay on the site? Yes or no? Is it designed to encourage users to stay on the site? Yes or no? Uh Content responsibility is her number one goal, so that trumps everything. So, and so well, I'm only asking, very simple, whether your rec rec YouTube's recommendation algorithm is designed to encourage users to stay on the site. Simple question, yes or no? Uh, that's not the sole goal, Congressman. That but we definitely it is one of the goals. So the answer is yes. Okay. So the bottom line is simply put, your company's bottom line compel you to amplify extremists and dangerous content. You're not bystanders. 
And what happens on online doesn't stay online. It has real world consequences. That's why Congress has to act because you're, you're not bystanders. You're encouraging this stuff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.